It is incredible how many amazing football records have come out of Hardin County. As 419 Sports tweeted earlier, today is the sixth anniversary of Ada's Heath Jackson piling up 329 receiving yards, and the Bulldogs went over Toledo Christian. Austin Scott has some more remarkable accomplishments in this Leifeld Welding Top 5 Plays of the Week. The Crestview Knights help us fill the trick play quota on this week's edition of the Top 5 Plays. Dylan Grandstaff pitches to running back Jordan Miller. Ow! And he can't pass! Goes long to Braden Van Cleve and the big man does the rest for the Knights touchdown. We cruise into the Flag City for this week's fourth play. Sylvania South used Sam Stout back to pass before the end of the first half, and he's picked off by Finley's Kyle Nunn in the end zone. Nunn goes down the near sideline 101 yards for the pick six. The Van Buren Black Knights are fired up to be on this week's countdown as they take on Macomb. Riley Adolph looks to pass, and he's feeling the pressure. Buys time and fires to a leaping Tyler Saltzman, and he makes the catch. Watch a second time as Saltzman literally jumps over a defender. He did that just moments after holding on to this grab. We get a double dose of Fort Laramie's Drew Wehrman at number two this week. Redskins quarterback Austin Siegel rolls out and looks to the end zone. The ball bounces off Brett Rumor's hands and into the hands of Wehrman for the Fort Laramie touchdown. Later on, it's Bluffton's Mitchell Lall airing it out, and it's Wehrman coming down with a diving snag. Watch again as he juggles the ball and keeps it off the grass for the INT. This week's top spot belongs to the Delphus Jefferson Wildcats and Davian Tyson. On the Fairview kickoff, Tyson fields the ball around the 20-yard line and runs into a wall of Apache defenders. Looks like he's wrapped up, but hold the phone, Cotton. His teammates actually pull him out of the pile, and Tyson takes off down the sideline. He goes the rest of the way with a convoy of blockers behind him for the touchdown. It was really tough to limit this week's countdown to just five plays. Maybe we can ask Leifeld Welding to make it six or seven. Check back next Friday night to find out. 